Hey guys, my name is Tara Newell. I'm back for another EMDR video vlog about my therapy session. This is part five to it, and I am extremely happy to kind of discuss today what is happening with my sessions because I'm able to kind of see progress and I'll talk to you a little bit more about it but first I'll talk about um, going into the session. So going into the session I was extremely happy to have a break last week the previous week from doing EMDR therapy because it can just get a lot a lot of the times and just make you feel really raw and vulnerable and um, you know it's very emotional to go through memories of your attack and your trauma and try to work through your PTSD it's just um, it's draining so I was really happy to have that break I really needed that break um, but I knew going into this session that I would have to go do EMDR again so I was preparing myself for it. I was prepared for it. I take my time to get to therapy now and make sure I have lots of amount of time to park and then get there without being stressed. And then I get there, we begin my session as if it were a talk therapy session and just talking about my week, catching up with her letting her know the highs and lows, the constants, the fears that I'm having, um, any triggers that I'm having with my PTSD, and so on. Then we go into the EMDR session. She gets out the buzzers, and then we start doing the session. And we started out on my attack. She asked me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you feel about your attack and so on and I gave her a five and that was how I was fearing with feeling with the fear and just the anxiety of being around strangers etc so I go into that um and then we bring my safe figures in we are reminded of my safe figures and then we kind of just start the session and it was just kind of a crazy session. I literally like started with the thought of getting grabbed by John. Then I bounced around to Thanksgiving in my altercation with him. Then I go to old memories from my parent, like when I was younger, stuff that would happen, um, and traumas from a childhood. So it was kind of crazy how I would bounce around from thing to thing, but everything kind of had a constant theme of feeling unsafe. Um, and there's my ferret. Um, but yeah, it was the constant feeling of feeling unsafe. So it was um, interesting how everything kind of looped together. I told my therapist kind of after we ended the EMDR session that I felt like I kind of had ADHD because it was just like, I kind of didn't get all the constants and everything and then she kind of reassured me that you know we are making progress I really am seeing the progress with EMDR um, just you know from the time when I first started going there to the incident with the guy grabbing me at the bar and trying to move me so that he could play pool and that being a trigger with me um, that and then going into um, not too long ago I got grabbed at a bar um, a gay bar down the street from me and I was meeting up with my gay friends and um, I got grabbed by the wrist and just my reaction from that from the previous time getting grabbed it just changed dramatically I um, instead of like freaking out and just yelling at the guy and stuff like I had done with the guy in the bar, I kind of just looked at him and I told him like, don't effing grab me. And that was it. I just walked away. I went home. I was triggered, but I kind of knew how to deal with my triggers. And so I just went home. I did a meditation video it was um, really helpful and then I went to sleep and I was able to sleep. So 
So it was good. And I'm just really seeing the progress and everything. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about my sessions. And if you're curious with EMDR therapy, I really recommend it. If you have PTSD, I find it extremely helpful. And any questions that you have, just send in on my Instagram, Twitter, or um, on my YouTube. Just ask. Let me know. All right. Until next time, guys.